What currently legal thing do you expect to be illegal in the next 20 years? Data privacy violations. Hopefully. Depends on where you live. In Europe, GDPR is pretty awesome in this regard. Charities spending less than 5% of the money they are donated to the cause due to big overheads. Child marriage. Hopefully those family vlog channels on YouTube. You mean the ones where they're all yelling in large, nearly empty houses. Family vlog channels. There's been many instances where families have exposed intimate inappropriate parts of a child's upbringing, and I wouldn't be surprised if there are legal cases in the future for exploitation or damages. I'd say it will be age-restricted at least since the kids can't consent. My husband runs an ad agency and they do a lot of collaborations with influencers, some of whom have been around since they were really young, were pushed into the business by their parents, or these family, mummy blog situations. He always says in 15 to 20 years when these kids are adults we're gonna see some unprecedented court cases of kids basically suing their parents for flaunting them online against their will. Often these influencers, God I hate that word, are making bank, and it would be interesting to see how much of this money actually reaches the kids or is just being spent by the parents. Anyways, we have a total ban of posting images of our kid online because of this. Family YouTube channels. Everyone remember that daddy of five channel where the guy got in trouble then cancelled for abusing his stepkids on YouTube? Then, dot and you can't make this poo up, he made a asterisk rap song asterisk about how he was the victim or some poo. That's right, a rap song. What a time to be alive. Multi-level marketing. A lot more people are seeing these for what they are. I worked as an IT consultant for large e-commerce setups. We're talking contracts at the low end of maybe $50 million plus. Some of the largest customers I worked with were MLMs based in Utah. There was no end to the money. They'd gladly fly in people from across the world to solve an issue, often at last minute, when most other companies would try solve it remotely. They were building systems capable of shipping more product per day than the Amazon warehouse down the road, which made no sense, but they needed it, for the growth curve. It was absolutely insane. Subscription services for certain product features. It's ridiculous that one requires a sub-service to use the key fob for his, her car. I feel that this is going to just get worse. Government officials owning, trading individual stocks. Edit, read the post as, hoping, and not as legit expecting. Edit 2, I was implying use of blind trusts, broad index funds, opposed to individual stocks. I agree, it won't happen, in practice. A strong transparency law would be a step in the right direction. You wish. Who would make that law? Also, they would just get their spouse to trade for them like they already do. Telemarketing. God, please, ban telemarketing. Make robo-dialing illegal, and require that insurance companies, banks, etc. give people an option to talk to a human in the initial menu. Companies buying single-family homes, hopefully. This is something I've become more interested in because it's destroying the housing market in my area. If anyone is aware of bills or lobbying efforts on this let me know. I would be interested in any orgs putting together model legislation. Commercials for DG. Illegal in many countries already. I don't understand it to begin with. When I go to the doctor, they recommend the medication, because they're the doctor. Do people go to the doctor and say, hey I saw a commercial for Cymbalta, can I have a prescription for it? I mean they must since they're advertising to someone, but it's just weird to me. I just assume the doctor knows better than I do. Edit. Alright I understand now how this could work in certain situations. If it worked out for you I'm glad it did. Edit 2. Also, to clarify, Cymbalta was just the first D I thought of. I'm not making a statement on Cymbalta in particular, I've never taken it and I know nothing about it. I believe it is currently legal in 30 states for doctors to do pelvic exams on unconscious women without their consent for educational and teaching purposes. This better change soon. Link. 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 Edit. Thank you everyone that is sharing their experiences, adding on more information, or providing additional examples of medical injustices. I definitely have been learning a lot. As someone who want to go into the medical field, there are so many new things others have brought up that I need to read into. Wait, you're saying they aren't doing this for medical procedures, but they're using an unconscious woman for educational purposes? I need to make sure I'm reading this right. Sorry for the creepily fast response, but yes. Hopefully child beauty pageants. 
Revenge pee can be found all across the United States. Many states have passed laws against this, but some have yet to do so. Within the next 25 years, all states will most likely have laws against it, and or there will be a federal law prohibiting it. When revenge pee of politicians comes out, it'll be over before you can blink. They don't actually care if people know they're perverts and pedophiles, as long as nobody sees it. Edit, I know. Katie Hill. And nothing happened. The thing is, we need the nuclear option. It needs to be Congress. It needs to be an old white yeehaw f. We need an army of gold digging WS to hunt them down and blow the case wide open. The internet will blow up. There will be no escape. I know a lot of them are deep in the closet, so this draft would be open to twinks, too. I hope that in the next 20 years a woman raping a man is classed as RP under UK law. Because, currently at ISNT, link. The same problem exists in my state, Gar, here in the US. I was sexually assaulted by a woman and it completely derailed my life, with most of the worst stuff that happened occurred because I reported it. I was told over and over again by university officials, police, and other figures of authority that ultimately all that mattered was that I was a man and she was a woman. I was eventually expelled expressly for reporting and speaking out about the situation, and I have been fighting a legal battle with the university ever since over whether men can even be assaulted and how they handled my and other people's experiences. The law needs to be made gender neutral for everyone. Beauty contest featuring underage contestants. I wanna say this will happen but... Grimace Grimace Grimace. Advertisements for sports gambling. Online tracking. I mean why isn't this illegal already? If I would follow someone in real life and write down everything they do I will get arrested, but Google can do exactly this with no problems? That would imply that Google doesn't lobby governments. If the game can be sold to children, it should not have microtransactions. More importantly, kids should not be playing adult games. I'm tired of 11-year-olds kicking my ass in Warzone. Edit. Since this is getting big it's mostly a joke. I grew up as a young child playing these kind of games. I was there when teabagging became a thing. I've been teabagged and I have done the teabagging. I have also been told how busy my mother is and have told others how busy their mom was. Deep fakes. Skipping ads on YouTube. Adblocker wants to know your location. Helium filled balloons. At least for recreational use. Just replace it with good old fashioned hydrogen. Going to work while sick. Did pandemic teach us anything? I never understood this mentality. Just yesterday I had a minor corns flare up. Nothing serious just post flare up it's not a comfortable in general for want of a better word. My boss? Stay at home and do what work you can for the day. Don't use up a sick day for that. Also my boss, you have a cold? Not COVID? Please work from home all the same, no need to pass it on to others. Nah doesn't need a sick day just do what you can. Single use plastic. My hope small hope. Product packaging using combined materials. For example plastic glued to paper in a way that is impossible to separate. This makes recycling almost impossible. In Europe probably fireworks. PO0 le here make f in grenades and toss them to the police. In Germany it already is illegal to use or buy, sell fireworks without prior approval, except for a period of a few days around New Year's. NZ has made it illegal to sell cigarettes to anyone born after 2010, even once they're adults. I feel like a lot of places will start doing that. Prohibition. Historically it worked wonders. Commercial drones, have you seen what what Ukraine's been doing with small commercial ones? That has to be freaking out some politicians, military officials and police. There is absolutely no way the internet is unregulated as it is now in 20 years. If you think this is unregulated no way you were there in the beginning. Thank you for watching. We upload new videos every day, so be sure to come back for more fun. Please consider liking and subscribing if you enjoyed the video.